you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my oldest daughter, Brielle, her 11 year old independent homeschooling routine. So Brielle is pretty independent with most of her subjects. So today I'm just gonna follow along and show you guys her homeschooling routine. As you guys already seen, she already finished off math. I graded it and now she's gonna work on a little bit more of her independent subjects while I cook breakfast for everyone. So I'm just gonna take you guys along as you follow along her routine. You're gonna hear a lot of noise in the background because I do have two other kiddos who are four and two. And you guys, don't worry, I will show you guys uh, my younger two toddlers, their routine uh, in the next video. So you guys will kind of get a flow of how I homeschool all of my kiddos. But today we're gonna focus on Brielle. So you guys, let's go ahead and get on into today's video. Okay, as you guys have seen earlier, we are trying out a new math, you guys. Um, so right now, Brielle, she is working on Math UC Epsilon. She just finished the first test and she did very well with it. So I'm really, really proud. So far, so good. And um, I'm also having Brielle work on some multi-digit uh, multiplication as well, along with her Epsilon, uh, just so she can continuously get practice with those skills as well. Um, and I just only had her do three multiplication problems today. She did very well on her test and she is still working on her multi-digit multiplication and um, she is all done. Don't worry, I will give you guys the updated video on math and I'll let you guys know if we're gonna be officially switching to math you see uh, our thoughts but right now we're just giving it a try. Okay, you guys, this is the time that I typically go over Brielle's agenda and our plan for today. I really find that having her write out everything that I want her to accomplish for the day really allows her to be uh, more independent. She doesn't have to stop me and ask me what she has to do next. She already knows uh, what she's going to be doing for that day. And she really has been enjoying planning out her day and adding stickers to her planner. So while I'm still cooking breakfast, she is finishing up her fix it grammar and her handwriting sometimes she does have time to complete her spelling and if not she will do her spelling after we complete our bible and morning basket my younger two kiddos you guys they are playing very nicely independently uh, while i'm cooking breakfast and um, i just love utilizing every little pocket of time that i can with all of my kiddos so for morning basket you guys we keep it really really simple we do our poetry we do bible we do our hymn study and we do our devotion. We don't do all of these things every single day. We do a little combination of uh, each of them. And I really like having this special time to really bring in our homeschooling day uh, with my oldest daughter, uh, Brielle. Okay, you guys, Brielle, she is taking a little break right now and she just finished with all of her independent work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check over her um, fix it grammar and I'm gonna check over her spelling as well and make sure she didn't have any mistakes. And if she didn't, um, she's gonna take her break and then we'll go into um, either science or history. Today is Monday, so it's a science day for us. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set her up with her science. She has been doing science independently as well, you guys. Uh, and it's been going really, really great. She's really been enjoying the format and the flow that I set up for her. Um, this book right here, her fifth grade school nest book, she has been utilizing it to write out all of her um, vocabulary words for her spelling at the end of the week. So. Um, I'm utilizing that, uh, this notebook for her to work on her spelling and vocabulary. Sorry the tripod is shaking you guys. Alana, my youngest one, she's right here. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and check her work real quick. We're gonna go over all her independent work and she's gonna keep on going with her subjects. Okay, you guys, Brielle is about to start science and she has been working on science independently. So she is going to watch this short three minute video on National Geographic about the earth. Um, here is our DK encyclopedia that Brielle has been using for space. So she's primarily going to be focusing on these two pages, which is Earth and Inside of the Earth. She is going to be working on this uh, coloring page where she's going to layer uh, the Earth and then she can put it inside of her um, school nest science notebook after she gets finished. Um, she's been really enjoying uh, using our school nest books for most of her subjects. So. She's going to go ahead and color it and layer it and I'm um, sorry, color it and label it and put it inside of her science notebook. And then also too, she's going to work on her anchor chart on uh, Earth. She's already completed Venus 
and Mercury from last week. So um, this is how Brielle is going to work on science independently downstairs. If it does get too loud, I will go ahead and let her go upstairs so it won't be too distracting, but she actually likes to stay close to me just in case she has any questions. So this is how Brielle is gonna work on science independently. Then we will break for lunch. It hydrates the land, helping create nutrient-rich soil. It collects and pools to form oceans and freshwater systems. And it cycles upward to add moisture to Earth's protective atmosphere. Earth is the only planet we know that supports life. It is the third planet from the sun, containing immense oceans and plenty of land for us to live on. About 71% of the Earth is covered in water. Earth has a protective atmosphere that keeps astronomical objects away from the surface. The Earth's atmosphere has five layers called the trophosphere, stratosphere, yeah, the myth. Mesosphere and a thermosphere. and exosphere. I gotta put in. Yeah. Exosphere. Mm -hmm. Says, Earth also provides this breathable air called oxygen. <coughs> Earth has four seasons, and in each season, the Earth gets further or closer to the sun. Unlike Mercury and Venus, Earth has a strong foundation of supporting life and protecting us from dangers in space. Good job, great job, great job, great job. Okay, so you can go ahead and do your um, final copy. Good job. Bam. Okay, you guys, I have the dishwasher going. I have the kids there out here on the patio just getting some fresh air real quick. Uh, we are about to eat some lunch, so I just have to heat up some food for them. But uh, right now, I just want to show you, this is a paragraph that Brielle wrote about Earth, and here is her anchor chart that she finished. Uh, writing about earth as you guys seen I went over it, her paragraph with her um, the layers of the earth all she did was color it so what we're going to do is we're going to come back tomorrow when we do science and I'm going to have her finish filling out the layers of the earth and then we will probably start Mars tomorrow as well so uh, this is just how we have been uh, doing science and uh, she's all done she's going to have a quick lunch break and uh, read aloud and then we're going to go into IEW. Not anything either, not anything except zero gravity and moonlights. She did not feel it when Bridget helped her into her jacket. Well, welcome to class number 14. Okay, you guys, Brielle is actually all done with um, IEW. Today, all she had to do was write a keyword outline and um, she did really, really well with it. Uh, these videos, they are long, but he is pretty entertaining. And whenever I do get a chance, I do try to sit in here and watch the videos with Brielle. So it is about, what time is it? is about what 224 right now so um we're pretty spot on as far as the timing goes with us finishing like off of our school day and everything like that during this time brielle will typically work on some of her fun creative writing she will do piano um she would do some free play uh she would do anything that she wants to do uh to entertain herself until she gets her technology time in the later evening after my two younger ones they're up from their quiet time we typically go outside and uh we do that um typically like in the afternoons now we used to do it in the middle of our day but i'm finding that going outside in the middle of, of our day sometimes is a little bit distracting to like our overall flow uh so we uh go outside in the afternoons it's like pretty much all i'm trying to say but um the only things i will do at this point is i will go ahead like you see me before i will go ahead and finish off recording everything brielle did and this pretty much ends our homeschooling day. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy watching Brielle's uh, homeschooling routine. As you guys can see, Brielle is really, really independent when it comes to a lot of her subjects. Um, I am pretty much just like assisting her in her learning.
learning and in her education at this point. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really hard for me to kind of like let go of the reins when it comes to like Brielle, because I remember us starting off our homeschooling year, she was in the third grade and she needed me more and now, you know, she needs me less and less, but I'm finding that she actually is learning more uh, the more I'm like letting go and allowing her to be independent and allowing her to take full ownership over her studies. So um, as she's getting up here, you guys, in these grades, I guess, you know, this is just going to be like our new flow and our new state when it comes to, uh, I guess, my process as, you know, mom and facilitator for uh, Bree's education. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.